Joe and Amanda going on a big book in the sheep out mission. We did a little bit of that. Um, fast track, good say. Fifth looks tiny. You can tell it's raining. The chickens are stood in the porch making a mess. Good to be back in my working clothes. Um, the biomass board has gone off this morning, some sort of electrical thing, so I'm going to go and see what's wrong with that there. I think we need to get the big case out of the shed and the fence and see which pulls the best. Because I've been missing tracks as well, I've been away. Yeah, so we've got them lights on and up there for that, to be fair, so something to do with this. Doesn't want to reset them. It's blowing the wind. Got an error with one of these circuits here, there's not a light on there, so we're just going to work out why that is. So one of the safety circuits seems to have failed. Got all the lights on now, a little bit of FaceTime with the guy in Denmark, explain to me what to do with the wiring down here to get it to reset. The press has kicked on now, we've got a green light here, hopefully the boiler's going to fire up. 5140 update, Rob's got the back linkage working but he, well, he knows what's wrong with it and he's now put a new lift pump on it so it's not it's not wagging its tail like a dog now because it used to wag down there but you can't see because the panels are back on now. Oh, he's got a new seat cover for it as well. 13 pound off Amazon. <laughs> Slight bit of cold weather and the John Deere's don't start. So we've got the jump back on because it says the battery's flat. So we we'll to try that now. Nope. It's alive! Oh, I think it's so loud. Anyway, I think you could pull that against that to see which grip's the best. Or maybe that against that. It's too cold and miserable. I've got a cold. The Scottish variant of a cold. So with, the, with us being in the shed and the floor being really flat, we're going to move the drill out and we're going to get the chain and we're going to pull in here because the floor's flat and not wet. But it, it's not going to come down to power, it's just going to come down to grip and traction and balance because of how the tractors are balanced. So I think we'll try the big case against the 936 maybe or the big case against the 44, 94. Robin doesn't want to try his Maxim because he said he won't stand a chance. But I would have thought the Max movie had a pretty good chance against the 1455 because he's got a full set of weights on his. 1455 hasn't and I bet there's not a lot of difference in weight between the two tractors. Just moving the 724 and the drill out the shed to give us some more room. Should go around the block on it, get the neighbours talking, wondering what's going on. Why well, he's only going out with his drill and it's raining. Now this won't start. You have to turn boost onto there for some reason. To hold it around. Try that! Nothing. Mission must have been left on. See if the 1455 will start. Our survey says. Right, 49.55, in two wheel drive, let's just see what it does. It's getting out of the wet. Ready? Go! Yeah, Robin was supposed to have that in two-wheel drive, but he clearly had it in four, so we're going to try again with that in two-wheel drive. Yeah, the uh, four-wheel drive's got the advantage. So now, in the red corner, we've got the 14.55 and then the 49.55. John Deere. Now we expect the John Deere to totally walk the 1455 for two reasons. One, the John Deere is a lot heavier and two, 
the turbo clutches and these, I don't made them really nice to drive, made them quite difficult for putting the power down fast. And when you're pulling something, if you start to spin, then the other one has the advantage. So, but also this won't engage with the power quickly. So maybe if he starts spinning that will pull away, or if not, this will hesitate as the clutch engages, in which case it's already going backwards and can't pull itself forwards. So we'll see what happens. Getting serious now, Andrew's got his lights on. Bob's got his on. I still think that, and that would be like a good match. Get to a new bit of floor. Take a strain. Go! That's like a toy. <laughs> Wait, again, it's the advantage. Right, we need to try and get this thing running. Then maybe the case can redeem itself. We'll jump back on this side. 5140 on this side. Let's see if it starts now. Like that. Nothing. Don't. Hey. Alive. Let's see what this baby does now. Oh, I don't get the tires wet. idea if the case is in four wheel drive or not. Um, I think obviously Bob's going to try and put it in four wheel drive. Andrew's just being noisy. But it should be interesting. It's a shame it's going dark. Two, one, go! Oh, look at that! Oh. Andrew's very smug. Try again, Rob got not a very good start. I can't remember the weight difference, we need to weigh him in a second. But we didn't want to get the tyres wet. We'll try again now. You ready? No, he's getting out, he's getting out. Right, take two. 49, 55, 44, 94. It's just like it's all started. Five, four, three, two, one, go! There we go! Effortless from the gate sponsors. Gets a proper start. We're on Big Red now, or Big Bertha, or whatever we were going to call it. Um, it obviously, once you get the clutch bite right and you set off at the right time, it had an advantage over the John Deere. So we're going to go and see what it weighs. Apparently the John Deere weighs eight and a half ton. So let's just see what this one weighs. I thought I was going to have to buy a contract then, because Andrew was being so smug. Let's have a look now. So this weighs, probably can't see. Nah, nine ton, dead with me sat in it. And Andrews is eight and a half, so really it should have it should have won this. Should have had the advantage. That's probably enough fun in the shed today with the tractors pulling them. It's quite smoky in here now. We're probably gonna get carbon monoxide poisoning. But maybe tomorrow we'll try the 936 against this and see what happens. Don't remember that being missing, I think it must have just fell off while I've been going around the yard. Better go and have a look. Found it, fell off in the shed on the floor and hadn't been run over. Must have been when it was bounced up and down before so it. So the 4494 weighs 9 tonne dead, the 4955 with Andrew Satin and his mate, which is exactly how it was when we were towing, it's 20 kilos less. So I think with the right driver and getting to know the clutch on the 49, sorry the 4494, I think it always outpulled the 4955 just because it's balanced better. 
on uh, 1455 now this weighs 6.14 tons so about 600 kilos more than robin's maxim so maybe this would have the advantage on the maxim before i do the birthday bumper i just need to say get well soon harry so he's in all the hay children's hospital which is where we're going to go to on the track to run currently asking father christmas for a new kidney so hopefully he'll get one and he'll get well soon anyway there's all the birthday bumpers there all your names so happy birthday to all you lot hope you've had a good one although quite wet and rainy just a quick update on a few things before i say bye basically the calendars will be printed and should be ready on wednesday so we will find out a way of selling them and getting them out to you probably through an ebay shop maybe i don't know also merchandise people have been asking about merchandise clothing different things there's a link below this video of how to order it now they can't promise to have them all out by christmas but the hope that if you order it by wednesday this week you should get it in time for Christmas. So at the moment, there's T-shirts on there, the ones that we're using for the track to run as well. So there's, I think, there's three different T-shirts and then there's, there's coats and things like that and then there'll be beanie hats and different things added on on Monday. But because at the time getting on and Christmas and December coming through fast, you, you, they're promising, not promising, but they're hoping that if you order by Wednesday, you will receive it for Christmas if they are Christmas presents. As you know, I enjoy farming and not putting things in envelopes and posting it to people. Hence why I don't now supply seed socks myself because it was taking over my life. And that is why I have sort of outsourced the merchandising, if you will, to another company that's gonna make it, package it and, dis and supply it for me. And then that way I can just carry on farming. So that's the, that's the way it's going to be. Anyway, so they've got the logo and they've got the designs and we've gone through all that. And the t-shirts are all made in Yorkshire. The, the fabric comes in on a roll, a bit like a flag, cut up, sublimated, to really good designs that you can have printed onto it if you will and then sewn together and then sent off so if you're interested click the link below and um, if you want it be quick by Wednesday otherwise they can't get them out to before Christmas but they hope anything before Wednesday they should be able to sort so that's about it for me today thanks you everyone for watching sorry that you had to all enjoy my holiday in Scotland I noticed the views dropped off quite a bit obviously people were bored so <laughs> sorry about that anyone that did enjoy it thanks for watching and um, I'll see you all tomorrow